you have to be fearless. You have to be completely fearless and have utmost belief in whatever that, that feeling is inside you. Earn your keep, earn the day. But when you're stepping into territory that's unknown and we grow up in a society where people just think that you click on things and you get it, we're, we're programmed, everything is so instant. You take a pill, you get skinny. You get this app, it sorts everything out for you. To get anything, there's no secret to it. It's just hard work. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the hours. Whether it's repetitions or whether whatever it is, you got to get up and get after it as hard as you can. Because there's somebody else that's out there that's doing it. You want to be the hardest working person in the world. If what they're going after truly makes them happy, you know, if, if it's if it's driven by happiness, they will have nothing but success because you will enjoy getting up early in the morning. You will enjoy outworking everybody. People that are miserable, I never understand why they're doing what they're doing. You have one life. You got one shot at this. There's no dress rehearsals at all. To be miserable going to job after job or just doing the same thing over and over again, to have no inspiration, you know, you're just a cog in a wheel, you know. I'd rather be the engine. You know, I'd rather be the one that drives and moves the car, you know, than just be the wheel. It's all a mindset. It's how, it's how bad you want something. And nothing tastes better than when you've earned it. it there's no better feeling than when you've earned it. And nothing's been handed to me. Nothing, you know, has come, nothing by any chance has come easy to me. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't think I'd have the career that I have if I didn't go through what I did early and, and sort of lose what I, the little fortune that I had at the time and get lost and then have to come back and, and sort of recalibrate. Rip that safety blanket out. Don't have a backup plan. If you have a backup plan, you'll always go to that backup plan. You know, you're like, oh, I, well, I could always go back to this. Well, that means if what, if it gets too tough? That's like saying, if I get married, I can always get a divorce if it gets tough. That's why so many people are divorced these days because they don't want to put the work in. When it gets tough, you gotta be able to bite down on your mouth guard and step forward and keep swinging. If there is a sliver of a, of a chance, that means you got a chance. And don't give up. You just can't. And, and by doing that, you have to just be fearless. You 100% have to be fearless. If you decide in that moment that you want to ring that bell and give up, then, okay, then go to your backup plan and be miserable. Happiness is worth more than any dollar amount you'll ever have. Through your happiness, you'll, you'll have your wealth that will come. I'm a firm believer of that. Be very appreciative of how lucky you are to see the sunrise. You know, each day that comes, recognize that you have that day ahead of you to go and kick ass. And that's, that's all you should focus on, is that day, and that day only. And then there was training with the, our, our SEAL guys, which is completely different mentality. They just, they always say, embrace the suck. And there's a lot of sucking. <laughs> Everything about it sucks. Usually we train, I'll train before we go into work. Usually our work day starts around six or seven in the morning. So I'll usually hit the gym at like 3.34 and then I'll train for a good hour, hour and a half and then go to work. And then, then we'll be on set for 10, 12 hours out up in the mountains, run up and down hills with about a hundred pounds of gear on us um, all day. But in order to be able to run up and down these hills with this gear on, you have to be able to train this. You can't fake this. There's something about it. When you're training that hard and that focused, it's, it's, I really feel like, you know, it, to earth, you know, the, you know, you're seeing things a little clearer, like the, 
the colors on the tree and in the ocean are just a little bit brighter. Like you've got a clear head. Like you're you're you know you're you're aware of, of a lot more things when you're when you're putting that much focus in on on uh, on training and, and health and fitness and and I think those things really go hand in hand. Success, you know, the greatest wealth in life is health, right? So if you take that and use your health, get as healthy as possible, and focus that on success, I think. Is a good combination, you know, and, and then you you through through that success comes wealth. It's just it's this great circle. But taking care of yourself first is 100% needed in any successful thing in life, whether it's a relationship or whether it's you know business. Just learn one more thing that you didn't know yesterday. That's all I ask is one more thing. Get just get slightly better each day. Whatever it is, if you did four push-ups yesterday, do five push-ups today. You know, just do one thing better than you did yesterday, so then you feel like there's growth every day. And it doesn't have to be big. You know, if you did six steps, do six and a half the next day. So every day there's a little goal within yourself. Well, whatever that it is you did, you did one more thing than you did. So you're constantly growing and improving. I remember having I had a conversation with myself in my my rearview mirror, and I was like, "Do I go back to Canada?" And you know, because I was 26 at the time, and you know, and I'm living in my car. You know, it's, it's just there's not you know. Supposed to be living the dream. I left Vancouver and I made it. You know, like people think that I've made it, and and I hadn't. But then I really kind of, you know, started thinking. I was like, look, I've I've got everything right now. I've got my health. I've got. I'm chasing my dream. Um, I got people that believe in me. I have a legitimate agent, so maybe I do have everything. You know, material wise, I'm I'm struggling a little bit, but. I have everything that I need right now at this moment that I need to get a job, and it's just I needed to focus in on what that. I, I needed to stop worrying about, you know, the next three or four years and just focus what I could control, and that was being completely focused and present on the work and tasks that I had at hand to get me out of the situation that I was in, and be okay with telling people that I had no money. And I think that I was broke, and that I was struggling, um, and lose my ego over that because my, I wasn't raised that way. My father never raised me that way. We didn't grow up with money; it never defined us. So I, I kind of got lost in this sort of flashy town of like, "Yeah, you're doing great," you know. Everybody asks how you're doing down here, and people tell you what jobs they've just worked on, as opposed to telling you how you're actually doing. You know, your work defines you as opposed to your character. I had done a couple episodes, and I was in the parking lot, and I had like thirty, thirty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. I was in a Seven Eleven parking lot, and that's all I had in my bank account. And I actually have that framed in my office. Um, and I, my phone rang, and it was my manager saying that they wanted to do a seven-year deal with me at CBS, and it like completely changed my life. Going zero to sixty in a Tesla, and, and uh, it just everything everything changed um, for the better. I'm like I, I like <laughs> I went out and got like an apartment that day. I didn't just get an apartment. I got like, a great one. I, I bought, got an apartment and bought a pool table. And my parents had.
come down to celebrate. And they came in, I didn't even have a bed or anything. There was a pool, um, these guys were putting up a pool table. And mom's like, where's your bed or your plates? I'm like, I haven't bought that yet. And I'm like, and she's like, you bought a pool table? I'm like, I've always wanted to buy a pool table. She's like, Jesus Christ, AJ. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's great though, we can play pool. She's like, but where are you gonna sleep? And I'm like, I've got my car outside. <laughs> It's like reading a chapter and until you understand what happened in that chapter, you can never go to the next chapter. So you have to go back and read it again. And I feel like that was happening in my life. I had to, until I understood where I was, the next part wasn't gonna happen. I was a dog chasing its tail. So I had to be okay with myself and where I was and kind of zero in on what my, what my goal was. and. And instead of, you know, taking the foot off the gas and going out and hanging out with people that really didn't give a shit about anything, you know, I needed to sort of bring the circle small and put the focus back on myself um, and have that hunger again to get up and get after it. Today, you know, is it's stronger than ever, even with the success that I have now. The more that you are dialed in, the more that the needle moves.